Hi, I'm uh, Todd Valancourt from uh, Wolcott, Connecticut. Uh, this is my van. Welcome to the machine here. And it's a 1976 Ford van, E150, six cylinder, 300. Uh, I've had the van since I was uh, 16 years old. I'm actually uh, 58. I'm unveiling it today at Keystone uh, Madness with Oop here. And I just restored it after, it's been 12 years since I sat in this seat. But I'm uh, having a great time here because I feel 25 actually again. And Oop, uh, he's been waiting for this day to videotape it and uh, I have too. So uh, come on in and we'll take a look at this machine. Over the years I was a young kid and you know fog light CBs was the big thing and they're still on this uh, van. These I bought at Kmart when I was 16. They're still on. Um, you know I put a, a piece here because back in the day the visors would crack, they'd wobble and you'd lose them. I heard the stories. I worked at a custom coach van shop. I, I've done the interiors of the vans when I was younger. And I always wanted to patent this. Get your light bar now, 1995. Save your visor. There you go. But we did the light show. Uh, actually, the rumor is uh, mass transit vans in uh, Massachusetts. Uh, you know, years ago, there was a lot of vans in the show. The judges would take half the day, and it would turn dark. We'd have to turn the lights on so the judges could finish. Well, that was the rumor that started this uh, uh, light show. Oh, light and bright, yeah. 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 And I see you got your hood scoops here with the lights in it and some, you got some, some stars in there, painted in there? This is uh, Bob Gorski, he did a, there's like six vans still floating around, people uh -huh. don't really know who Bob is, but he's done the, uh, the murals on the back of these vans that are floating still today. Mm -hmm. And he just passed uh, last season and this was his last really biggest job he did. He did some crazy work for me. Yeah, very nice. Now what, what kind of paint is that? That, that? that, I always wanted a pearl when I was young. I finally got the pearl and they wanted to throw this blue pearl because it was the new thing that they were using and it's definitely popping when you oh, go around yeah. the side. Oh, it's beautiful. Along the, the side does some flipping and flopping. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. see you got, of course, the visor up there and then you got lights up there as well, huh? Yeah, everything lights up on the roof. That's, the, you know, the CB. Mm -hmm. And I had the light covers. Uh, uh, that was about I was about 17 when uh, Carl's 4x4s. Uh, God rest his soul. He put them on, but now I redid them. Uh, Kirk uh, CustomVan.com uh, hooked me up and actually oh, cut yeah. the old one out. He's got the stuff, don't he? I gave him one of the old ones, and he cut it and made them. Nice. Okay. On top here, uh, of course, we all had to have them sunroofs. Uh, thank God mine don't leak. But <laughs> anyways. I got the CB antenna that lit up, and then you had to get the boomerang. Oh, we had to have the boomerang for the TVs back then. And the vent now, I got that at the Bell Camperland, and what it is, it's got the fan to suck the smoke, whatever else, the heat out of it. And then I actually got that uh, wing, I was about 17 from a friend of mine, Billy Harder, and it's still on there. Uh, they do come in two pieces, I had to seal it up one time, but it's still doing very good and it lights up in the back. Okay, so what do you got under the hood on this thing now? Under the hood? You know, I never really did the motor because I really didn't want to clean it, but I did go and do some goodies on the motor. It's a six cylinder 300. I got a little over 150,000 miles. I did redo everything in it. Oh. And uh, nice. oh, no. good, she's still ticking. She's been driving me around for over 40 years. I see you got two batteries up here. I have the two batteries. I used to have actually three. There was two over to the right here. Yeah. Well, you got to have two. One for to run everything in the van and one to start it, right? Yes. Yeah, there's a switch in the van that clicks it over. So you was telling me you went to a car show lately and uh, you ended up winning the car show because they liked your motor so well. Uh, they told us not to open our doors, but open the hood. And I was like, well, I'd like to open my doors. <laughs> But I took the award, that was cool. Mm -hmm. You know, I go to car shows, these guys, I don't know, they get mad sometimes, I guess, the hot oh, yeah. rodders. Mm -hmm. Let me take you on to the paint here. The paint, I ended up doing almost like it was now. You gotta realize the van's been done over the years, being 16 and I'm 58, it's been done, this is the fourth time. The fourth time, but this, I still stayed with my heartbeats and I stayed with the machine. 
I'm a Pink Floyd nut. I love all their orchestra. I just always uh, loved Pink Floyd. You know, I went to the wall in New York when I was 16. Nice. But, you know, this is the Pink Floyd album. You know, it means a lot. There's a story behind the whole van, obviously. Okay, so that's I, etched, that's etched into the glass, right? That was the thing back day. They 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 etched it right in there. Yeah, it looks that great. was a good talent to have. Yeah. Chris Van Gogh out of Adirondack, New York, they, did oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I see you also have etching on this side too, on a passenger side. This was etching done. They actually, if you had shut the door, it goes into the other. Oh, it's all one. It goes into, oh, you know, together. they, they okay. went together. Yeah, yeah, nice. I mean, that was actually the album uh, Dio, Holy Diver. Holy Diver, nice. Very cool. Yeah, you know, they were pretty cool in the day. Some real nice Kragers on here. I, I did. I, I went a, a low. I went to the 15 by uh, 7s. Mm -hmm. And then in the back, I went with 15 by 8 for the rims. Okay. You know, I threw some air shocks. I'm trying to get that old hot rod look. Oh, yeah. I would have went with the, the bigger ones, but I never put the uh, the flares. I'm pretty clean. I want my, I'm a nitpick when it comes yeah, to these some things. Some vans just don't need them. Used to be a white undercarriage. I still got some kind of white under there, though. Yeah, God rest Nighty Night's uh, soul. He used to love my white. He didn't know how I kept it uh, clean. But when I met her, everything was white underneath them wheel wells. I used to pick the bugs off when I come home from the bars mm -hmm. until she told me change them black. All right, now what we got going on back here? Yeah, it is the machine, and uh, this is all like your Pink Floyd stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. And, and that was something uh, Bob did. I got the praying hands in there. Mm -hmm. It's all a story. I, I'm not going to really get into the stories, but, oh. you know, our vans have our own little yeah. secret yeah. story. Oh, yeah. You got the louvers on the back there too. The louvers been on there for a long, long time. Yeah, it's amazing how long they last. We need the new ones. I, I don't know. I wanted to change everything. Won't, won't be a problem. And on this side, it's basically the same setup. You know, I had to get the gears in there because it is a machine. Right. The heartbeats was basic me as a young child, uh, you know, partying and everything, and I was still going. That's the you know, story they, behind they that. that. They call that NSR. <laughs> Did you know that? No. Normal sinus rhythm. Oh, That's actually shit. the way your heartbeat shows up oh. on, his, on his graph. But some, you know, Bob did a nice job on this paint. This paint does some flipping and flopping. Mm -hmm. We're not really getting it right now, but at night you will get that effect. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you got more etching on this window over here. The etching did this. You know, this was actually, I was, a, I was actually 16, 17. JT Spy was the glass etcher. And he told me to slow down. <laughs> Wait, look at a few other artists. Uh -huh. He was a nice, honest, you know, businessman. And I did find Chris Van Gogh. So there's actually two guys on this window. Okay. The White Knight was me. As you can see, I have a uniform. I've had the uniform since I was a kid. Yeah. And, uh, well, I had this thing stretched out. <laughs> <laughs> this was your CB handles. Oh, you were the right, we were the big okay. CB guys, you know. Mm -hmm. I lived in a city and we used to hang at the Colonial Plaza. We all talk and, you know, I've been in a few little clubs, you know, Brass City Truckers out of Waterbury, Connecticut. Uh, Valley Truckers, which turned to All Truck. Oh, yeah, then uh, keep it tight. And uh, I'm still Ultimate Truckers today, though. Very cool. So when you've been through, I think I'm the second generation of Vanning where you you are the first generation mm -hmm. of Vannin because you're the 70s guys. Second generation okay. and so on. Second gen. We're on four, I think. I'm right, trying so to figure now, that out. Now we come to the... Come into the, to the Queen's Empire. This is the wife's job in here. We did do the interior, me and her, mm -hmm. putting these buttons in. <laughs> oh, two, four in the morning. Oh, wow. Okay. That's quite a few buttons there. Yeah, there's a few little boo-boos, but we just backed them out and, and put it in the right spot. <laughs> Yeah. Very cool. I dated a girl that time. She did a poem for me. Oh, yeah. I got a pillow. Some girl uh, embroidered the machine on the pillow for me. <laughs> this Beverly gave me this one, and I think Custom Coach gave me that crazy thing. Right. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> all right, so you, I see you have your cabinet system here, which, which obviously you got the sink on there, the old old style sink, and the, the uh, cabinet and that's an ice box correct the ice box is there box, we just yeah. changed the face of the ice box uh -huh. looks good it was a factory uh you know cabinet mm -hmm. my friend uh 
went to Washington State, came back a wood carver, and he, he carved the wood. Oh, wow, oh, yeah, nice. Them seats now got little backs on it. And yeah, the backs, we, uh, yeah. we kept putting strips. Back then, they didn't have bendable materials, so we stripped them and put a couple strips, and we were able to bend the wood. Yeah. And that's how we made the two seats. Mm -hmm. And if you look, the, the, the wall is the same as the front. It's got the curve in the front, and then the, the wall's got the curve. And as we come around toward the front, you got your overhead console. Now, what all you got up there? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> you know, being young, you wanted all the toys. Oh, you got to have it all. But yeah, I just put the TVs in. I got three TVs with the PlayStation and everything. Mm -hmm. But what it was, is I had the scanner there. You know, you always had to sit around and listen to the police or whatever when you were a kid. <laughs> And the CB I always had. I have a PA system that I talk and joke outside the van. Mm -hmm. And the two monitors in the front. Uh, an old friend of mine up there I just saw. But then I have the, the DVD player. See it there? That goes mm -hmm. to the two uh, TVs. But there's a separate DVD player in the very back of the oh, van. Yeah. I have the fans. There's uh, two fans back there and one in the front. Uh, you know. Yeah, and then you got another CD. Was that a CD player or just a player? That's uh, actually you got the CD player to the left. Okay. In the center oh, is your DV player that runs oh, the two got TVs. You. Got you, got you. Okay. Everything's working, you know. Right. Yeah. Well, that's great. I got the fire extinguisher just in case. Oh, you got to. Ha hey, <laughs> we just had a, a problem at the Nationals, if you remember. That Somebody, was... uh, oh gosh, caught on fire up under the hood. Joe was the first one there with the fire extinguisher. I don't think Eddie had a fire extinguisher. <laughs> See, not all go. of us have fire extinguishers. And in then our you veins. got some stuff here, some little. This is, uh, you know, the girl where she would uh, decorate it. Mm -hmm. This was a van her friend from All Truck, Beth Elsden, that actually called Mary at the place she was working. Come get this <laughs> castle, she said, for Todd's van. <laughs> cool. It's great to have it out. I'm telling you, I, I love in it because I, I was young when I had it. I went to a couple car shows before the van jam. Mm -hmm. And I had people coming up that remembered when we hung at the plaza, you know, I didn't remember them, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But it was great to, the machine, see, they remember the machine. The machine, oh yeah. That was done a long time ago. Unfortunately, Mary just did the front recently. <laughs> I redid the, the cover re just mm -hmm. recently too. Because yeah. the, the sun uh, does uh, oh, fade yeah. the red, it's, it's the red fades. Yep, we know about that. You know. Nice. Okay, these are swivel uh, captain chairs. Uh, back in the day, we had the swivels. Oh yeah, they both turn around. Yeah, they both. It's very comfortable. You don't drive it this way, do you? Oh, I wish I could. <laughs> uh, pretty soon they'll be driving on their own, I think. Uh, no. These came from a company called Sabar. Because I worked at the van shop, I knew where they were getting their seats. So oh, okay. one day I took the ride to the <laughs> the warehouse and bought them cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> very nice carpeting. Everything looks great. I see you did the round, round, down around your, your, your bed and back area and chairs and stuff in, glass, in the mirrors. Yes, this was not done by us. This was a place called Waterbury Glass that did this. Oh, wow. I went with the Thank bevel. You. See, the lights are all around it, and what it does, it pops them lights when they turn on over that glass. Okay. And of course, there's lights around the bed area. Yeah. There's a dog in the picture there, but she was with me for 17 years. Aw. This is your bed area back here, of course. Yeah. This is the bed area. You got TV up there and fans. You got it all going on. What's this over here? Is this a... This is like your little oh, little you limo. You don't see those too much anymore. You, you pull it. Lighter. There's a little light there. As you pull it, it lights up. Mm -hmm. And I got the lights all over the place. And oh, yeah. The bed, I, I didn't want to get out of it because it was so comfortable. It's been 12 years since I slept in a bed, so wow. it was nice to sleep in it. Tell me about it. these pictures you have here. The Hera. My girl Mary uh, did some 8x10s. Uh, this is actually in the beginning wow. when I had that van. And, you know, I don't know if the camera could take it out, but that's actually a pinstripe and that was a big scratch. Uh, Gary Reed actually covered the scratch and he made it look pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, and then over here? And over here was the, uh, this is the last paint yeah. job, yeah. Okay. And that, you can see it's the heartbeats. I, I still stayed the same, basically. Yeah. You know, I used to have the hood scoops where, where they came out and they, it would crack, so we, oh. you pull them in now, it's, they don't crack. Yeah, nice. Yeah. 
Now, uh, I'm having that Banners reunion at Lake Compounds Amusement Park in Bristol, Connecticut, October of uh, 2022 here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I called it the Banners reunion because that was my first run. <laughs> and now over COVID, after 39 years, uh, they're allowing us back. Uh, Silver City Vans out of Meriden, Connecticut used to have a van jam there in April for mm -hmm. four oh. years. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about this Vanners reunion. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Yep, you got the, I to give it a plug. the doors are all done up. Looks good. <laughs> this here, we still have storage under here. Cause when you go to the Van Jams camping and stuff, I'm sleeping in here still. This is, I used to build a tree force. This is my Ford on wheels. And uh, this little handle here is, you know, some of the Van Jams is hot and I like to pull my door at night and sleep with the door open and I can pull it back shut. Easy as that. Nice. Easy peasy. And all your stuff for when you show, you got to have all this stuff. We right? have to have all this. And here I am with uh, Mary. Mary has a lot to do with this machine van. I've been with Mary about 38 years. And I'm so happy she got into Vanner when I uh, took her along. I know Vanners that uh, they got the vans in the garage because their new wives didn't like vanning. But she does the interior of the van with her fancy artwork. <laughs> and she helps me clean it a lot. She gets on her knees and cleans them rims for me. There you go. She's a, she's a keeper. Yeah, that's definitely a keeper. And she puts up with me. That's what I love the most. Yeah, that's the difficult <laughs> part, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, thanks so much for finally showing us the machine. We've been after you for... For years, you've been after me for years, and we've just been talking about it. Uh, once you get it finished, we got to get it on uh, up on uh, YouTube so every so the world can enjoy it. Yes, sir. And that's what's happening. You bet. Thanks right to now. you. You are the man. Thank you to you and plenty of other these and guys. Joe. And one other thing I want to mention, you know, we're all our own little promoters here, and I have to say, Oop and Joe, been doing an excellent job for a couple of years now, and keep up the good work. Thank you for having me, Thank and I'm glad you enjoy this van.